Oh. Yeah, no, 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 Hideo, it's not mystery, it's just vague fucking annoyance. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? What, what's the difference between the two? We should, we should make a segment like, what would the editor work? Oh shit, I need to turn the volume down. Executive decision. <laughs> oh, you gave it away. We're it officially it live. Hey, yeah. at least like last time I did this stuff, I got the timing perfect. <laughs> I'm a freaking master at the timing. Yeah, and I, I, I just wing it. Um, hello, everybody. Welcome to the only global podcast that talks about two things that we enjoy, which is good beer and video games. We are Pixel Pints. Follow us at Pixel Pints Pod on Instagram, Pixel underscore Pints on Twitter. If you're listening to this on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Anchor.fm, thank you very much for lending us your ears and not posting nasty things when we say nasty things about your favorite video game producer and or publisher. Um, Hideo Kojima doesn't know how to edit games properly and Nintendo can suck ass right now um, because of their announcement uh, about the Mario 35th anniversary edition, which I think we should speak about briefly before getting onto the main topic. Wait, yeah. don't you oh, mean um, their, don't yeah. you mean their Disney Vault, their, their Disney Mario Vault, Vault style, oh, Nintendo Vault? Uh, yeah, it's uh, just uh. and the, the 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 other thing as well. So if you wanted to play that remote control. Um, Mario Kart game. game. So you need a switch, enough space in a area to design a track. In hardwood uh, floors. Hardwood floors. So <laughs> if you've got carpet, fuck off. Um, uh, replace your carpet with hardwood because otherwise you won't be able to play Mario Kart, Kart in real life. Or just only loses. replace like the section to make the track. So like stuff yeah, like carpet. Just cut <laughs> out the carpet and then polish that section of the flooring. Exactly. But, yeah. Um, Wait. What? What did you say? Can you say it, can you, can you say it again? <laughs> carpet. Oh, no carpet. Sorry. No. no. Carpet. Okay. Um, so Evan, you should be all right, but you probably don't have enough space. Fuck no. There's no you space for anything over here. So yeah. if, Evan, you'd be able to play that Mario Kart game if you sold all of your furniture. Yeah. It, I mean, I buy that. It's more like the uh, crash courses in uh, Burnout Three. Uh, than uh, a Mario Kart game, to be honest with you, which I actually would rather play. Can by you the way, set it up <laughs> outside of your flat on the hallway. <laughs> oh no, I, I don't suppose... want to cause trouble for my fellow uh, my neighbors. That's like the worst thing you can do here. <laughs> yeah. I still don't know how that thing works, like how it detects curves and whatever, because you can. Well, because it, um, well, because it or showed on there, you, like you. Cr- you create the track by running the track first. So, like any turn you make, oh. it it tracks okay. it. Okay. Yeah, and then that's, that's how you make the race. So like oh, that's okay. why they, All right. that's what the paint was when they like showed the Mario had like this purple or pink paint mm. below him. That was him creating the track. So then I was like, oh, you create the track, you can create multiple tracks on the same like floor. Oh, oh, those tracks floor have like really space to... precise straight lines. Then yeah, what what children basically? Yeah. I mean, if you have kids, it's probably going to be the most fun Mario Kart game you've ever played because you're going to be turning and turning and turning and drifting and turning all the yeah. time because kids' toys are on the floor. But like, try I don't know if the, I don't know if the cart can drift. With a remote controlled toy, like, see how that goes. It would be like <laughs> price point. What do you think? Yeah, I'm thinking uh, ninety bucks. Oh no! Can they say like a hundred dollars for a set? I was gonna say I was gonna say one two nine ninety nine. Ooh, how about one thirty five thirty fifth anniversary? We gotta get you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how about thirty five dollars, please? Yeah, it's just it's for, just gonna me it, any, any way for people to gouge people's wallets. Any, right, that's enough of. Oh, talking oh Evan, about that. Evan, how, how Evan? How about thirty five for the individual carts? Thirty five for the game. So like go. just keep charging you thirty five a piece. Thirty five. Uh, thirty five. Like, maybe seven. 
Sorry, the just, Mario isn't in the cart. You have to get that in. You have to get that extra. So that's thirty-five yeah. for Mario to go into the cart. Just you can just guarantee that it's going to be most more grown adults that buy that game than actual children. That's I a think good, it's yeah. Meant for, yeah. It's meant for adults and like force their kids yeah. to play with it to like. You will like, play this. Show, sh show mom you like it because we we need to like legitimize this ex this expense. <laughs> you like it? Play the game, Daddy. I know. Play it. Oh, you're play scaring it. me. I, I want to buy the other Mario stuff before it expires in March, and I'll play it. I think well, honestly, we know someone. Who, we know <laughs> someone who doesn't need to wait for that Mario stuff, don't we, Evan? <coughs> yeah. I think most people are probably just gonna buy it and leave it in the box. Hey, well, it's yeah, a good, it'll Nintendo be a good collector's are... item for sure. And, and yeah. equally, that game, that Mario game and watch thing, people will all buy it because Nintendo are never going to make enough for the for the <laughs> amount of demand that there could be for it. Because okay. they're fucking never. notorious at doing that. Looking at look never. at the, their experience with the amiibo. Yeah, yeah. scarcity. Yeah, amiibo, like, scarcity people. equals crazies. I've been asking Falcon one about that. <laughs> yeah, Evan made the mistake of taking them all out of the packaging. Yeah, I did. I don't know why I did that. I waited like three years. To, uh, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> took out the packaging because I fucking lost Captain Falcon, man. Um, oh, we took them out of the packaging because we loved playing them with Super Smash Bros. So we had no choice. Oh, that's true. Right. Enough of this tomfoolery. Um, and quickly go around the room or around the Zoom. I get it. <laughs> um, check out what everyone is. Uh, Rafa, how's things with you? Obviously, oh. you're excited about the 35th anniversary of Mario. Yeah, uh, I mean, I I set my expectations the right way, so I wasn't disappointed. I, I didn't expect anything new. However, uh, I'm really excited about the Battle Royale. So that was the highlight of the show for me. So that's time limited as well. Yeah, so I know. How's that going to work? So but once it's they free, I'm. Is it? It, if you if you have an online subscription, which you need, anyways, to play that game, um, so yeah, I like we'll 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 all have to see what happens on the thirty first because they didn't like did they specify that they're going to completely retire it or because some some I've seen some outlets. Like, I know the yeah. promo image says playable until March twenty first, twenty twenty one, or whatever. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Like, maybe they add a new skin to it. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, no, they, I think they're testing, they're dipping their toe the in the beta, water. basically. And then yeah. they'll release a full, like, full-fledged model. In, yeah. Yeah, like, and, and then they'll charge, yeah, they, they'll they'll charge see, everyone for it. Yeah, they, maybe. maybe they see how... 60 bucks, how, too. They're going to charge you 60. How it fares with 45 people and then make it 99. I don't know. Mm. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. Uh, everything's fine. Um, so yeah, just uh, just enjoying my my weekend and uh, trying to find uh, some more time to play games. Uh, I'm stuck with uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations. <laughs> uh, I haven't done any of the story in it because I'm just sending assassins on mission on missions and stuff. I I, I, I put like twenty hours in it. So it's, yeah. you do realize it's not a strategy game; it's a third person <laughs> action game. I'm playing it wrong. <laughs> right. like so much. It, well, it, it secretly, Michael wants to be a turnip farmer. Um, oh, yeah, that's, why, yeah. that's why he's playing um, Animal yeah. Crossing. Right, skipping one square across. Mitch, how are things with you? Good. I, I had a really bad bug, so I'm, I'm happy to be healthy. And it wasn't COVID, thank God, but yeah. still was pretty bad. So I'm... Happy to be back, healthy, and new apartment. <laughs> but it's still nice to have you back. Still out of work, but we'll, oh, we'll shit. One, one thing at a time. Get there. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I think with some of the whinging that's going on from people I know who've been on furlough since March in the UK, and then suddenly they've got to go back to work and they're boo fucking hearing about it. Oh, get over it. <laughs> see, I wouldn't oh, wow. see right now, I'm like, I just want to work. <laughs> like I don't care if it was like a stupid crappy job that I'd be working for right now. I just rather I just want to work. Like to be honest, being home all day sucks ass. Yeah. <laughs> you think being at home all day, money? looking for a job, is hellish. I don't wish oh, on anyone. Yeah, it's it's been it's been an interesting experience so far trying to find work around here. But 
Love or something. Best of, best of luck, man. Best of luck. I got yeah. months, so I got good, good, good. A, a, yeah. a, a, apparently, know. apparently, Trump actually did something good. So, so his executive order kicked in. So I'm actually getting some extra funds to be able to last a little longer. So hopefully, they don't court that up and take that away from me right when I'm about to get it, because that would be nice to have in my bank account. So um, give um, me till December. Heard... So that's a lot of time. I've heard the illegal organ trade has quite a good market. So, <laughs> get on I, these it, I, sh I should have gave them my infected, uh, my infected tonsils. I think they would have loved it. High that, price. Max Payne Three is a great game, by the way. It's underrated. Sorry. What's the logic leap between that? Yeah, uh, it it has to do with uh, um, organ harvesting. Uh, or organ harvesting. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, that might. That's okay. a slight spoiler, I guess. But <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Right, going one square across again for any anyone listening. His um, square is not Matt's squares. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Liam, how's things for you, mate? Oh, uh, going well. Um, I'm literally just getting a bunch of stuff ready to sell to go into that PlayStation Five fund. <laughs> did you? Did you, you, wanted, you wanted the chosen? You got that email, or what's going on here? Did you, did you oh, try to um, be a chosen one? I, I, <laughs> yeah. we, 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 we don't have that in the UK. Um, it's only uh, in America. Oh. So, um, okay. so we, I guess we, the US people wait... are, are, are like the more important people, I guess. Hmm. Of course, yeah. 10 years of PlayStation Plus. Yeah. Doesn't oh, wow. You've been, you've been there for 10 years? Wow. <laughs> and they don't even uh, fucking would... throw you a bone? Yeah, I've, I've had no. PlayStation Plus since they started it. So yeah, I'm, I'm probably on the 10-year mark too. Hey, Ralph, you, you, you got that email, yeah? I mean, get that free tenner. What the fuck's going on, Sony? You <laughs> get, uh, register your interest on a few websites in the UK, but it's nothing official. Like, it's not from them. Mm. It's not their own website. But uh, mm. I'm also positive that it won't sell out. I don't know. I have a feeling that everyone is going to be able to get it. I think I'll try it. There's going think... to be Japan. More, um, more models of it available than there were for the PlayStation 4. I, I think it'll sell out, to be honest. Like, I just, I don't see it not selling out compared to, because especially how Microsoft has dropped the ball. If they didn't drop the ball, I think it would be a little tighter, but no, they're going to sell it. I think you'll be fine if you pre-order. Especially if you have Ratchet and Clank coming within the launch window. Like, holy shit, that's mm -hmm. a big thing. Ratchet and Clank ain't coming this year. Like, um... I, mean, you should come I, up... I think it's January. January, like on the second, second uh, shipment, basically. Right, yeah. okay, moving along, because we're just checking out now everyone needs. Well, I just wanted to say as well that um, I'm, I'm upset because I'm, I'm selling my PlayStation 4 Pro to get ahead of everything. Um, so I'm having to downgrade back to my dad's old PlayStation 4. Oh, wow, you're going all in. Yeah. You're, well, it's wow. just like uh, for the past few months, I've just been hearing my PlayStation 4 Pro taking off like a freaking jet engine when I'm playing Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, well, you, you, you should sell your you Switch instead because there's no good games on that. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I Pointless system. Switch. And by the time you get the Great money system. to buy the one you want, it's going to be gone. You mean the Nintendo yeah. port? Yeah, the no, Nintendo I, I, port I, system. The port I system. Have too many games. <laughs> the micro console. I'm behind in all of the games that I want to play. You can do some pretty incredible things with the Switch if you mod it. So if you don't want to sell it, mod it and you can do wonders with it. Like over okay, so, so we know um, Michael's pastime of uh, purchasing video games um, <laughs> when back in the day when he was playing on PC. Now, moving on, Evan, how are things in Japan? Uh, great. Don't mind me. I'm just going to eat these giant grapes off the vine. Wait, where's your oh. wife to feed them to you? <laughs> oh, she's in Osaka. She's not coming back until tomorrow. <laughs> so lonely, by the way. I'm really uh, lonely here. Um, right, enough, enough of that, because I want to get to something else. Matt, how are things in Las Vegas? I'm fine. Moving on. Wait, <laughs> Matt, right. Love, Love Island is in Las Vegas. Have you, have you went to go see those people on top of that roof in Caesars Palace? No, I didn't even know that was going on. Can yeah. you spit on them? <laughs> <laughs> they might be a little oh, too high. <laughs> But but it, yeah, it is, might, be, uh, might be a thing. So, but I found it hilarious. They used a uh, Caesar's Palace to run Love Island. I was like, oh, okay, quarantine. My favorite quarantine shows are on right now. So like, I'm I'm so digging everything. Okay. 
I, yeah, I didn't before know we get on, before we get on to beers, um, I believe that Matt and Evan, you received a letter recently. Oh, we did. Yeah. Uh, would would you would one of you like to introduce and then read the letter? Oh, is this because of what of happened on the last of episode? The last time? episode. I thought you were going to read it, so I didn't prepare. You useless <laughs> bastards. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, I don't have it on hand. Uh, right. Where OneDrive documents, pixel pints. Right. Um, so what, what was sent from... Um, Great Uncle Bulgaria, lead partner at Womble and Womble LLC, Wimbledon Common, Wimbledon, uh, to Messrs. Burkoff and Piotr Rostaki, uh, cease and desist defamation and slander. Dear Womble haters, it's been brought to our attention that on a recent episode of the popular podcast about games and good beer, the Pixel Pints podcast, inferences and implications were made towards our client, me, uh, that must stop immediately or you'll find yourselves in a very actionable situation. Our client, Keith McWomble, has never engaged with nighttime creeping into, pe- creeping into people's houses to see if they talk in their sleep. To imply so is slanderous to the point of ludicrousness. Everybody knows that Wombles, the Wombles of Wimbledon Common, even honorary ones like our client, me, uh, only make a good use of the things that they find, the things that the everyday folk leave behind, Therein lies the massive inaccuracy in your assertions. The most egregious of the inferences made in the show so far um, were done so in the frankly terrible folking folk song performed, if you can use the term, by the stand user. The accusation was that our client in his key role to the popularity of this podcast, Quizmaster, is somehow rigging the quiz so that Matt wins. This is abhorrent to anyone who chooses to take up the mantle of Quizmaster and will be fought with every penny our client has. To accuse him of undermining the integrity of the mantle of Quizmaster is not just incredulous, it is insulting. I urge both of you to realize the implications of any continuation of these unfounded, baseless and vexatious allegations you have carelessly thrown into the world, lest you fest legal and other ramifications. Yours with very few regards. (laughs) <laughs> so I have sent a copy of this uh, to my legal team over at uh, Kenner Hasbro and Mattel, and um, I'm still waiting a response. So when I do get that response, we'll be sure to respond to your solicitors in kind. Yeah, Matt, I um, I propose we deal with this off podcast, right? I think that's the, probably the prof- professional thing to do. It perhaps once we reach a settlement, uh, yeah, that we could move on. But uh, yeah, until until such time as I'm uh, advised by my legal uh, counsel uh, as to how to proceed, we'll we'll just leave it at that. It is um, <laughs> because it's not it's not eight o'clock in the morning. I, I actually had drinks. Um, oh, right. I'm starting off with Ubu. 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 Not Premium Uber. Amber Ale. Ubu. From were- Purity Brewing in Warwickshire. Um, I've had this before, but never on the show. Um, for an amber ale, it's really malty. Looks really dark mm. too. Mm. Oh, you got a malt, nice malt en- English uh, dimpled pint to show it off as well. Yeah, yes. made, made in France. Uh, irony. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, this is really it's really smooth drinking. So the origin of the name is quite interesting. Um, Blah, blah, blah. It was named after our faithful canine, Tess. Okay. Often found lazing around the farm, she was affectionately earned a nickname, Useless Bloody Urchin, which was then shortened to Ubu. <laughs> That's pretty good. I feel like I should be naming my horse that in uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Ubu. Useless Bloody Urchin. <laughs> useless Bloody Urchin. So mean. Oh, no, wait. That was a cat's nickname, right? Oh, it's perfect. It fits. It's, the shoe fits. Useless bloody urchin. That is a. That's great. And I've got another one which I, I I might get through on the show, which is brewed exclusively for Marks and Spencers in the UK. Nine hops Kent Pale Ale. Nice. Mm. The real question but, is, Mick Wumble, how many beers are you going to get through through the fantasy draft on Monday? Um, I might not be on. <gasps> oh no! So I might not be there live. 
I've got my well, as much as. But the thing is, for me, every time I've done a NFL draft, and I've actually been there to do it, I've done stupid things like um, drafting the the Cleveland Browns quarterback. Um, <laughs> Baker Mayfield. And, <laughs> but when when I've done it from when I've done it on the um, auto draft, I've actually come out with some good players. But, yeah. <laughs> some more sensible picks. <laughs> some more sensible picks. Yeah. But Human error is out of the equation. You never you never know. You got you got to take some chances, right? Yeah, it was in the. I think it was in the sixth round, so it wasn't like a. Oh yeah, you didn't. No, you didn't, you didn't take him like okay. round two. He took him like mid round. Okay. It still yeah. took him pretty early though. In my in my. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting pissed off with people not talking up Tennessee so much this year. Anyway, we're not here to talk about the NFL. We're here to talk about good beer and video games. Wait, 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 I have a a beer. I have a beer. Um, Everyone, do you... Oh, my God. You did fucking buy it? (laughs) Yeah. All right. All right, so Mitch might know what Zima is. I don't know if, if anybody in the UK knows what it is. Does anyone know what Zima is? Matt, Matt, do you want to ex- do you want to explain? So Zima, lightly. yeah, Zima was a um, an alternative to wine coolers. Um, or like the cool like. Is 90s. it the guy wine cooler? Kind of, yeah. I mean, they they tried to market it to everybody, but it was in the it was in the nineties. It was uh, made by Coors. It's sort of like. Um, if it was in the 90s, Burkhoff, why do you think I know about it? I was like two years old. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Wow. But it was a U.S. thing. I'm surprised that they sell it in Japan. Um, um, like can someone explain you know, wine you know cooler as well? To... Oh, wine yeah. cooler is basically an alcoholic fruity beverage that's like really light on the alcohol and more on the fruity stuff. And it's yeah. for girls to drink when they can't have it. Like it's in bottles like beers. Mm. So like guys can have beers and girls can have wine coolers. It, it do taste tastes pretty like good. Bug. It barely tastes like alcohol. So yeah, it takes Zima, a lot to get drunk on a wine cooler. Basically, funnily enough, I researched it just slightly now when we were someone was talking about something. It was probably McMahon, but I wasn't paying attention. So I researched it, and it said it's like only available in Japan. What? Even though it was became defunct in like 2008. So pours a very clear, clear. Yeah. And uh, I already feel pretty cool, guys. Like I haven't even took him taken a sip yet. Took him. Jesus Christ. The past you teach English, right? of take is. Took in, took in. I'll, fire myself. I'll fire myself on this podcast. Just watch me. Yeah, if he has enough Zimas. I mean, uh, there's really <laughs> nothing to say about this. That was what a waste of fucking money for the show. You know, I, I have only myself to blame. I would, um, I would see, really Evan, what you should have done is because it looks like water. You should have just been drinking it throughout the show and just go like, look what I've been drinking. Oh, man. You know what, Mitch? That would have been the Shyamalan twist, this fucking episode we did. <laughs> and I'm not smart enough to think about that beforehand. So, uh... I mean, Kojima and I are similar in brain in regards to like mind twisting, <laughs> bending right. moves. Except so, I explain shit. <laughs> next time I have a gimmick in mind, I'll direct Go message by you, course. and we'll 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 workshop it. We'll coordinate. Yeah, this, this is um, this is pretty bad. Yeah. It smells it's like um, it's those horrible, the extra strong things that you're having. The chew highs. It's not as strong. That's the thing. This is very it's, yeah, inoffensive. It's super, it's super light. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, it kind of is like a a wine cooler that slightly smells like an energy. Oh, I was going to say, does it smell <laughs> it like an energy like, drink combined with a wine like, cooler? It smells like Jack Nicholson's purple suit in the 1989 tim burton's batman oh, oh would taste God. all right okay Ooh. that's a, oh, that's God. a good way to okay. describe it that's a really good way of explaining that one all right that's i mean let's move on zima does not deserve this much time <laughs> on, on a on a nationally syndicated podcast all right anyone else got anything they would like to talk about um Evan, we're related? not national we're international we're global I, I I immediately realized the mistake I made, but okay. Right. You didn't correct yourself. I'll, you I'll, I'll just, I'll just blame go the, with it. No. We'll just blame the Zima. Oh man, back in the '90s, did I blame the Zima? <laughs> Brings you back. This whole episode is because I'm gonna do a lot of things in this episode that I can blame on the Zima. Yeah. So Op Shields in the chat says, "So many bad nights, Zima." <laughs> <laughs> back back of the box. 
Back of the <laughs> bottle? <laughs> so many bad nights. Zima. No wonder it fucking didn't. That was a, what a terrible marketing campaign that was. <laughs> couldn't have used that. Well, I mean, that's just that's just an excuse for wine coolers. Is if you have a bad night on wine coolers, you're just like it was the wine cooler. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Nothing in this nonsense. Yes, and it is nonsense. Shut up, everyone. And let's talk about our topic this week, which is early gaming memories. So obviously, some of our memories are going to be slightly longer than others. Um, I'm just sorry. I'm just going to swap my background to make everyone feel sorry for how old I am. Yeah, you Hopefully can't do that. it in two seconds like I can. <laughs> yeah, Mitch was quite quick on the draw there. Oh my gosh, what which... game is that? I don't even I have know no what that idea. is. Um, so, starting off with me, since everyone doesn't know what an Amstrad computer is. Um, <laughs> oh, it's a computer? Uh, Amstrad. Really old. Yeah, it is yeah. really old, mate. Like me, I'm really fucking old when it comes to being on the internet as a content creator. Hello, fellow content creators. Did you really bowl <laughs> with the joystick? No, um, no. this was just the only image I could find that was a decent enough image that had uh, Amstrad. Um, that would be hilarious if you tried to bowl with the joystick. <laughs> um, but I didn't actually own this version. I can't find, and I didn't own it. So when it came to early gaming, my parents refused to buy my brother and I a dedicated gaming system. Yeah. It had to be something that you could also do schoolwork on. So that's where the Amstrad computer came in. So imagine a slightly more powerful version than the um, Commodore 64. So this took three and a half inch floppy disks rather nice. than cassettes. Yeah. But the one game that I do remember playing on it was an terrible street fighter ripoff and i can't for the life of me find i've been i've been searching for this goddamn game to find the <laughs> do, name do you know do you know picture. the name do you remember no, the name I can't, I can't oh remember the name it's got to have a great name it's got to have the best like fruity loops knockoff like you know like shitty cereal yeah, name. enter the dragon sure that, yeah there's this, um, uh, place online where you can actually like it's uh, some sort of forum where you ask people about certain old games and they hear about that recently like it's it's this co community that finds lost games for you I'll... oh no i don't want to play it it was awful i just want to know the name yeah um it, it was pretty oh, terrible it was one. also terrible trying to play a fighting game with a keyboard um was it uh, pit was fighter bad. i don't believe so okay um but it, it it did one of the characters and the character i remember was um They'd walk on, so both your characters where they were fighting, one were coming from the right hand side of the screen, the other one coming in from the left. And I used to play most frequently as a guy would walk on with a briefcase, take his suit jacket off, roll up his sleeves, and then start throwing out punches that would launch mini tornadoes across the screen. Because <laughs> why not? I know. It's, um, it's it was a fighting game. It was insanely hard to pull the moves off because you're trying to do it on a fucking keyboard. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, that was that was probably kind of early earliest gaming memories that weren't on the type of machine that I posted in the um, pick on Instagram. So the old kind of game and watch things, where you had the pictures in the background that would move rather than. So actual videos games. What uh, what was the Amistrad in relation to uh, like the Sinclair ZX Spectrum? Were they similar in power? Were they? This came after the Spectrum. Okay, all right. So was this it, was, was more as, like was it as popular as the Spectrum? No. Okay. Um, so there's at the time Amstrad were the prominent so this is amstrad was the company that was owned by um alan sugar if people know who he is lord okay. sugar um so he does the uk version of i'm going to sell my soul to get on tv but um call it getting a job in the apprentice okay All right. mm -hmm. um he's a, he's a member of the house of lords um and he in the early 90s um had a computer division as one of his companies which was amstrad home computing 
so it was the i think it was one of the few um uk based pc manufacturers right okay um and about being piers morgan's arch nemesis (laughs) yeah um yeah it wasn't wasn't great so when it came around to having to get a a new system the next thing was an actual proper pc and i can't remember who made that i think it was I think it was a Dell or one of the early Dell home computers, but yeah. So this is this proves how fucking old I am compared to you lot. Um, <laughs> I mean, do you uh, like looking back on it? You obviously, is it like you feel pretty nostalgic about it because it was one of your first experiences? No, because pretty much all of the games on there were terrible. <laughs> okay, so it's just like it was, it was just bad. Like it yeah. happened to be your first experiences, however. Yeah, my <laughs> my, my, fr- my friend's got an, a Nintendo Entertainment System. Why the fuck have I got this thing? Okay, um, fair enough. If you're gonna compare, yeah. like looking over his shoulder, like fuck, mom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fuck the okay, Amstrad. I can I can do my homework on here and I can print it off and take it into school. Um, and he can't do that on his Nintendo Entertainment System, but his games work, and they're yeah. fun. Wow. Yeah, there's oh, like, like uh, I'm looking right now on Moby Games. There's like 64 different fighting games uh, that are for the system. So trying to wow. find the one that you're talking about is like a needle in a haystack. There's, Send me the link to the website you're looking at, and I'll see if I can. There is one called the one uh, the Little Tornadoes being shot out. There is one called Chop and Drop. I don't know if that's uh, close. No, that's, uh... right. So. Um... Since Michael's changed his background, right? Let's go with Michael next. Uh, yeah. So, first of all, here it is. Um, so, uh, I, I think I, I I told you guys uh, about this before. Um, I found out recently what was the name of the NES clone that I had as a kid. Um, so I think I was four or five i don't know I, I was really small when uh when my mother bought this for me uh it's called the terminator yeah i, <laughs> I think they named it that because the movies were really popular at, uh, sure. at that point and the thing is <clears throat> these clones were actually made in like uh uh in asia um and then somehow they they exported them to um uh, to uh, Eastern Europe, and that's how they they were they were brought to the market. So uh, NESs were nowhere to be found. Like consoles like that, Nintendo products, they were nowhere uh, to be found in Eastern Europe. So we only had this. But the thing is, like it came it came so it came with it's the other way. Yeah, uh, see the the cartridge, the yellow cartridge over Big there. Bright uh, yellow cartridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Like, yeah. is that like? Because I don't think it's legit. Because the sticker says like 99 million games in one. Like it, it was supposed to be everything. <laughs> yeah, you know the classic. And it, and it, like that's I, I great. Know, like, 99 million. Yeah, yeah you, you put that. In, <laughs> it did have like a fair uh, amount of games on it. Like there were like I don't know. I assume like almost. 50 of them i don't know what was the storage capability of that cartridge but uh even even stores so for 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 a few uh good years we had like these little kiosks in the middle of the street and then i don't know in the mid 2000s there was a law that was passed and required all these little shops to be actually put in the first level of each building so they don't clutter the the streets they made parking places out of them (laughs) instead uh later on but at these kiosks you could actually find cassettes like this so everywhere i went uh throughout the city like uh bus stops and everything like the the kiosk there had had cartridges like that and of course i was i was little i didn't know that because they they had like collections of games thrown in there pirated probably and uh it was always like a moment of celebration when I would actually get a cartridge that had like three new games that I didn't already had at that point. But of course, it had uh, it had the Mario game, uh, 
Uh, it had, uh, I think the, there's another one, I don't know what's the name of it, um, with a tank and you need to protect like this, this sort of eagle and you like there are other tanks controlled by uh, by AI and you can also play into uh, you may know um, if you if you ever got your hands on that one uh, load runner um, I think it had like all, all these NES games like and it worked uh, also um, you you had the pistol for this and you could play oh, cool. uh, it escapes me right now uh, uh, was it, was it more of an play. NES zapper or did it look like a real a real gun uh, or more real. I, I think it gun. was meant to look like the NES uh, Zapper. It was black. It was black, but you can play uh, Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt. That's the name of it. Sure. Uh, yeah. 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 And uh, classic. But one particular uh, characteristic about this thing, like, uh, uh, it, it it broke every CRT we had. Like, <laughs> how did like, it really? How did it break like, the CRT? Yeah, like, I. I because you connect it uh, to the back of it, and they like fry the connections. Okay. Up, yeah, fry the connection. <laughs> yeah. So uh, there were like after six months, only after like six months, nine months, I was convinced my mother to get, to get me another one because after after a few months, uh, every time like the, the connection would uh, would uh, would be fried, and uh, she'd need to come to to call someone to come repair the TV. And then it, it would work again. Uh, I don't know. Like it, it was a mess. But uh, yeah, like that was like she she didn't mind me having this and and play on it. Uh, but she was always wary. Like for, for her, game consoles were were breaking the TV. That that was a rule in our house. Yeah. Uh, some really fun memories uh, I have with this console is that um, I I grew up like my mother raised me. Uh, I was an only child, and it was only my mother raising me. Uh, it, it was very difficult for her. We we had like some uh, really bad circumstances going on around at that time. She was very busy. She had a lot of uh, on her plate, but she always found time to play with me games. Like it it, it was that's insane. Cool. Like looking yeah, back, that's that's, awesome. that's like really heartwarming. And of course, sure. uh, the 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 game she played the most with me was Mario Brothers. So we, we would go through that a lot. Um, yeah. Um, and then, and then I don't know, like I didn't have access to one of these consoles until much later when I, when I first saw a, a computer and, uh, yeah, the, 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 the only two games on that computer were, uh, like, uh, Worms Armageddon and, uh, GTA 9096. And that's how, and that's how I I I I, I re-entered gaming basically. Okay. Um, yeah. So and then after that, like it was like a, a normal occurrence of finding out about games. Like I started making friends that had their own computer, and uh, we would talk about them. And yeah, but uh, uh, yeah, th this console in, in particular was uh, was really interesting. Like because every year I would. Uh, I would find something new about it, never, never about its name. But recently, I found what it was called, and then I, 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 I found some really interesting articles about it. And now, now everything is clear. Yeah. So that would be my early gaming memory. That's awesome. A little trip down memory lane with the research <laughs> in that. Yeah. 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 And is this where your um, passion for ripping off? Um, <laughs> companies of their profits is that, is that where is that where that started yeah i did a fair share of uh, damage so the thing is like i, I only started uh, gaining my own money in ninth grade when i started taking commissions so after that i was like this no, guy was I'm hustling not. at an early age <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so i i it was then when i started like actually like um, i'm not taking my consoles I, I want to play online i want to do all these things like uh uh, it, it, it started feeling much better, like having having the proper bot game officially, like no more issues, no. But yeah, it was, yeah. And I became much more committed to gaming because you're actually investing your your, your money in them. Like I, I, I didn't finish many games before that, which was like, I sure. was just demoing oh, them. Yeah, you had like 99 million games in one. If you didn't like yeah. it, you just moved <laughs> on to the next one, yeah? <laughs> 
I don't even think yeah. there's 99 million games now. <laughs> so it's like, I love that. I love how they just shot for the moon with that. Like, could you bring it down to like a um, one million? Like, no, 99. Got, you can see like uh, you've got um, what's it called? Uh, I think that's Street Fighter. That's Ken, okay. right? And then on the side you have uh, oh you you've got uh, Popeye, the the NES Popeye game. Uh, you've got I, lo- I love it. Yeah, uh, you know, Rock, Ken from Street Fighter and Popeye, the greatest yeah, combination yeah, yeah. of characters. Uh, Donkey Kong. The greatest <laughs> duo of all time. Yeah. <laughs> like, each side has uh, five screenshots. Who uh, would win, by the way? Uh, Popeye, hands down. His muscles yeah, Popeye, can grow. He's got, yeah, he's got, he's got the biggest forearms I've ever seen. <laughs> I've ever seen in recorded history, and 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 the in the way the game would play, it would be an arm wrestle. Oh man! <laughs> well, it's either Popeye or Jeff Goldblum from uh, uh, David Cronenberg's The Fly who's going to win that arm wrestling competition. I was going to say, why would it be Jeff Goldblum? But then you mentioned The Fly. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. right. We'll go I to the go. other uh, other person who's actually bothered to do backgrounds. So, thanks to the rest of you. Uh, Mitch, I, I believe that I, I believe that's a, that was a Resident Evil behind yeah, you. Both of these are connected, so I thought. And plus, I thought I was ruining uh, my background on the background on our show because you know it's black <laughs> and it's probably oozing in, like Matt tells us not to do every time. And... It's all right. I've just I don't even bother anymore. I just let you guys go invisible. So, um, so yeah, my gaming memory, uh, my earliest ones, is has to do with my dad. So, like, I got introduced to games through my dad, and it was through our PlayStation at home. Um, We did have a Sega Genesis, and I played some Sonic games through that when I was a kid as well. But my first earliest memories were through the PlayStation. And um, my first game I ever played was Resident Evil. And the first game I've ever seen my dad play was Resident Evil. How Um, old were you when you got this M-rated game? (laughs) I didn't buy it. My dad did. I just watched them. (laughs) So here's the thing. So like when I was a kid, my favorite memory just in general was on Saturday. So my dad was an iron worker. So he worked really, really hard during the days. He was up in the air putting, if people don't know what iron worker is, basically they take the steel of buildings, the the foundation of those buildings, they go up in the air with the cranes and make sure those get connected. So obviously they're supposed to be like connected via harness and stuff like that. And sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But anyways, uh, so like he worked really hard, basically, in general throughout his days. So on the weekends, um, his he the morning, he always woke up super early because his work was at like he would get up to go to work at like 4 a.m. or earlier every single day. So for him, that's how early he got up on like a Saturday. Like he couldn't really sleep in. So um, my memory was every morning I'd come down with my blanket, come downstairs and he'd be playing a game in the morning before he like before the after, uh, before he felt like he needed to start doing some of the chores around the house, whether that's mowing grass or whatever it needed to be done. But I'd come down with my blanket and I'd sit on the couch and I'd just watch him play. Like I just I would watch him play for hours, for like a couple hours. And best part was he always turned it down. But then when I come sit on the couch, he'll turn it up a little bit for me because he then <laughs> wants me to hear it. Um, so yeah, I watched him play Resident Evil and Tomb Raider were the two games. Those were the two franchises I watched him play as a child. Um, and then he let me hold the controller to play Resident Evil one time. And I was in a room, I know exactly which hallway it is too. Like I, it's the hallway that leads to, um, it's when you get to the top of the stairs in the mansion. Um, it's the door on the right hand side because it's the one that leads into the room where you have to cover the two holes where the poison gas comes out of if you want to get one of the keys um, one of the medallion thingies to put into to get to the garden Um, but it was that hallway the zombie was chasing me and I was figuring out the controls in which tank controls I dig I'm fine with I can play them all day long I still can play tank controls and be fine with it but like I got to the door for some reason I was hitting square to open the door and it's X. I was like, the door won't open. And my dad's like, you get out of there. They're going to kill you. I was like, but, but I can't like, it won't work. And he's like, and then the zombie killed me. And he's like, there you go. <laughs> so <laughs> That's why this is the very first game memory. But I will say like, I've never felt. What's that followed then by the words of son, you got to get good. <laughs> <laughs> well i will say like uh 
so like I kind of learned how to beat some of these games through watching my dad. So like an example, like I probably would have not been able to beat the original Tomb Raider if I didn't see my dad play, play it the first time. Um, but it's like some of my proudest moments of like first time beating something is like beating Tomb Raider for the first time because it's like that's those aren't easy games to play. Like they are very yeah. they're, they're very wide open spaced. Um, some of the things you need to find are really hidden really well. The level design is amazing in that game. Like if you go back, you're like, this game still holds up with level design. Maybe not graphically, um, but level design still, it, it holds up very, very well. Um, but I just, I, those those were my favorite memories. And, and it's kind of like my dad and I are not extremely close. We're very different people from just how we view the world and view things. Um, but like the one thing that does connect us is video games and and even football. Cool. So like, it's kind of a thing that I still talk to my dad about. Like he finished The Last of Us Part Two, and we got to talk about that for a bit. So like that's just kind of something that continued through my time. But yeah, this uh, that's why I'm a big fan of Resident Evil and Tomb Raider is because those are some of the first franchises I ever played, and I I think they're amazing franchises as well. But that's just me. So yeah, that's my. That's my game. My, my dad thought video games were going to rock my brain. So, oh, see, that's what my mom yeah. thought. And then my dad goes, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> right, moving across. Liam, take, oh, take it away. Well, I, I found Mitch's story very heartwarming. <laughs> um, especially because it's very similar to mine. I, I was actually surprised by how similar it was. Um, I mean, I pretty, I pretty much grew up uh, watching my dad play games as well. Um, well, we'd sort of worked together because he, he, he was pretty big gamer before i was even born so oh he well, hated I, when i tried to tell him what to do he's like shut up I'm like okay <laughs> i'm like okay i'm just gonna sit here quietly i'm like you're supposed to go down <laughs> yeah, that's no, what I... that's what that's when he got angry was when i was starting to play the game and beat it before him and then i would be like you need to go and then he'd go shut up they're like but i want you to win <laughs> go okay sorry go ahead yeah, but um, my dad had a Nintendo 64. Um, so we, we actually, no, sorry, it was a Super Nintendo. Um, so I, I would play games like uh, Donkey Kong Country and um, F Zero and uh, was it Wave Race, I think? Yeah, and Mario Kart and Killer Instinct, stuff like that. Uh, we used to work together to beat all the levels in Donkey Kong Country. And my dad had a PC that we'd play Tomb Raider on, things like that. Yeah, it was great. I, I love the Tomb Raider games. Really? Um, with with your, your Twitter handle? Um, yeah. Not your Twitter handle, but... Sifted uh, I, I mean... Your, like, your, uh, your handle on most things is being Tomb Raiders. No one would have guessed. I mean, that shit, that's some Kojima-level um, yeah. subtlety there. Here, I, thought it was, I thought I it was it. Indiana Jones. I thought it was, I thought it was Tom Raiders. That more, uh, according to Michael Pack, but that's that's my name, Tom Brady, or Nathan Drake. Right. I thought it was Nathan Drake. I like actually. it when people call me Tom. It's quite cool. Uh, but yeah, like Mitch is totally right about everything in regards to Tomb Raider. Like that, those games just have the incredible level design, like the puzzles and and the way that the levels are orchestrated. Like there's from still all one, angles. there's still one Tomb Raider game I've never beaten, and that's the second one. Oh right, really? I have it. And I just, I mean, right now I don't have my PS3 with me here in LA, so I got to get it over here so I can play it. But oh, that, it's, that's I think, funny because that was my favorite when I was a kid, and I think I've completed that like over ten times. Like, I think the farthest I per I've, I've seen the ending and everything because my dad beat it because I, I always remember that sequence of the house getting raided. Like that, oh, yeah. that was such a great sequence. Like in a game, it's just you think it's all over, then all of a sudden, she's in her robes, and all of a sudden, like people break in. You're like, "Go get your guns from your room," and you're like, "What?" But uh, but yeah, I, I think I got to the snow level. Oh, or you no, got just the like, bird monster or something. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think I got like over three fourths of the way done. I, I got I actually, it's it's something on my bucket list to like. Okay, enough of this finish. Tomb Raider love fest. It, it's it's totally worth it. <laughs> I I was always in a mad rush to get to the last level because I found the concept of a uh, dragon with a dagger in it to be mm -hmm. so freaking awesome. Yeah. Which uh, which um, Evan, did we, we do we make you sad? Did you have to like go and cry in the corner for a little bit, compose yourself? Oh, no, it was I, too um, touching. Too touching a story. I'm having, I'm having uh, problems. I have to go to the bathroom. 
<laughs> I, I think I'll be okay for the rest of the. I, I I I listened to the whole thing. Two things. I'm surprised, Mitch, that when you said I have Tomb Raider two, I'm surprised you didn't actually like pull it copy. from beside you and show it the <laughs> fucking case. I have the all the Tomb Raider is, games from PS1. Right. I I'm surprised that uh, Liam hasn't shamed uh, Rafa and I for not knowing that you go to Atlantis at the end of one of the games and everyone is like Close one. giant walking skin meat people <laughs> like this oh, yeah. horrible well fucking, technically like, it's not Atlantis the whole time. yeah yeah so actually so was I since you shared that Rafa. Yeah. But what is it then yeah, it's not, it's it not Atlantis isn't, it's, it's, um, it's like the place that leads to Atlantis why is it that though that's the pro that's the because the because th the three gods cre the three gods ruled Atlantis, but enough like of the this. Move the fuck on, Matt. What's your earliest <laughs> game in memory? Oh wait, wait, wait! I I'm not done. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! The three the three gods ruled Atlantis. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, and then sorry. and then Natla was a was a jerk and decided to try to rule it herself. We've we've decided that we're moving on, and Liam's going to change the subject of ways. And then she right. and then she did what we're doing to McWamper right now, which is banishing him. <laughs> I'll let, uh, well, yeah, I'll let Liam finishes and then we'll basically pass that one thing with my dad is he, he was extremely strict on what kind of games I could play like Tomb Raider which is surprising because Tomb Raider is pretty violent but but for all that but like Tomb Raider was like his limit you know that like, this is the most violent game you should play and you can't yeah, play but you are shooting 3d pretty badly 3d modeled dinosaurs <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, but but for instance, you know, he wouldn't let me play games like Resident Evil or Silent Hill or, mm, or, right. or Max Payne. Oh, Silent Hill is another one my dad played that I like yeah. to watch him play. Mm. But but I, I used to go to this friend I had, this guy called Connor, and he, this, I mean, in truth, this guy was sport rotten. He just had games like... Yeah, just uh, he was the kid who had everything. Yeah. He, he was the kid that had everything. Really nice guy. I used to go over to his house and play games like Resident Evil and Silent Hill, GTA. Did you like him, or did you just go over to his house to play games? Oh, he was awesome. I loved that guy. <laughs> yeah. Every, so, everything so about his <laughs> life is what I wish my life would be, you know? So, Liam, how old <laughs> are you when you, you watched your first... chicken dippers every night at his house. <laughs> <laughs> so, Liam, how old were you when your dad let you watch your first, like, rated R movie? Oh, well, it's a bit different over here because we have, like, rated 15... And 18 movies. I would say. So 18, first, I would say. Yeah, the first sort of um, upper age movie he'd let me watch was probably The Matrix. Yeah. It's, it's probably How old were you when that was? No, like seven or eight, maybe. Oh, okay. Fuck me. Uh, You're making me feel old right now. <laughs> yeah. I, was gonna say, I, was, I remember I, going to the theater for that one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, my dad took me to the Resident Evil movie in theaters, and I think I was eight. Oh, Your dad took you to the movie. Took me to the movie. You, you <laughs> will go watch this film. And no, I wanted to see it. it. I wanted to see it. Well, I knew about the movie because on our Resident Evil 2 game case, if I had it, I'd show it. It actually has a promotion to say, be in the contest to be in the movie. Oh, oh. I don't remember that at all. So, so I knew that the movie was coming. So when my dad was like, oh, yeah, it's coming. Like, Gosh, that film came out when I was at university. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so the, I, I, I always loved it. My dad was more like, we're going to this movie instead of like, do you want to go? Because like, he'll just pick nice. me up sometimes randomly and go, we're going to like go see the second like Lord of the Rings movie. And I was like, oh, OK, let's go. <laughs> it was like, this would make you feel old, Keith. Um, God, oh, I, 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 I was like, I feel really um, great already. <laughs> I, I was like 16, 15 or 16, and uh, Modern Warfare 2 was coming out. Um, Jesus. And, what like, Jesus. I, right I, I, I played the first Modern Warfare, like, for hours and on, man. Like, probably put, like, over a thousand hours into that thing. Um, and my dad would not let me have Modern Warfare 2. Because <laughs> of the No Russia mission and how it was, like, yeah. a huge thing in the press. But he would not let me have it. So I just went and bought it. Did, wait, did you try that? I, I promise not to shoot anyone. I did, yeah. I absolutely yeah. did that. I, I told him, I can turn that mission off. It, it won't even appear. See, what you, 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 you should have done, Liam, is I you should have just bought the game, played No Russian when he wasn't home, and then just kept playing the game because then he wouldn't know the difference. I, I didn't even care about the campaign. I just wanted to play the multiplayer with my friends. Yeah. I, I didn't Multi even download that game on. Young I didn't even download that game on PlayStation Plus. 
I did not download it. <laughs> oh, I didn't either. Shit. I didn't no, but it. I purposely, I saw it and I was like, I'm not playing that piece of shit. I'm not oh, even downloading it to I my, to download my it. library. Damn it. I wanted to play the campaign. I haven't played it. It's no Russian, full of more like no disposable video heroes. game. <laughs> oh, we, we we both said a joke at the same time. That's quite. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> no one heard it, but yeah, yeah very overrated game. <laughs> All right, Pio, what's your what's your what's your memory? Um, first, please look at the notes I've been taking. I hope you appreciate this. Yeah, I can't uh, read that. Your lighting's oh, horrible. You're yeah. You're just, you're just um, I've been writing detail. on a piece of tissue with a very sharp pen. All right, it's difficult. Is that your blood you, on there? Is that what is that what it is? You cut yourself using your frank? Might as well be. Well, it's the legal letter that his his lawyers are going to be responding to. It's a, it's a blood contract. Yeah, I'll be I'll be sending it out. The part, the the postal service in Japan is still intact, so I I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll get it to my lawyers on time. Uh, don't worry about that. Before Matt, election if, day, uh, it'll be on there before election day. Oh, you bet your sweet dollar, your yen. You bet your sweet yen on that. Um. One of the earliest memories for me was, uh, so I'm the youngest of three brothers. Um, I'm 35, the middle brother's 37, and my oh, eldest shit, brother's 10 years, 10 years older than me. So my oldest brother's wow. 45. Wow. So when wow. I was born, my brother was fucking 10 years old in 1985. Oh, Is that how years work? <laughs> Thank you, McWamp. <laughs> By the way, this isn't a celebration of Mario. It's a celebration of me, in a way. I'm terribly right? sorry. This is this is the year of the Evan. Um. Yes, yes. <laughs> kind of looks like me. I, I have like a vest on. It's like Mario Maker esque. Um, Fuck well, it. Next episode, year of the Evan. No, no, it's the celebration of the Mario. Let's be honest here, Evan. That on. would be the worst year ever. Um, it's a, to, no, no. Sorry to it's sorry to just just deal with this year of the Mario thing. Um, yeah. Obviously, N64 was out just before i went to university and okay. literally no one gave a shit about mario 64 is it really are we playing gold that's are surprising. we playing gold night are we playing gold okay. are we playing mm -hmm. gold night you, you're, play, you're playing mario 64 right now fucking take that out or we'll rip the card <laughs> out of the machine and we're playing gold <laughs> fucking play golden eye yeah a bit, but in yeah. all seriousness um keith uh mario 64 was only a big deal in america like people in europe didn't give a shit about that it was all golden really night. Really, yeah. Goldeneye wow. was, was, was Goldeneye. the the echelon of mm. um, N sixty four games. What so about Goldeneye ruled my household? What about Ocarina of Time? Because I feel like that was the the one. Yeah, game that, that, that that was a bigger deal than sixty four in Europe. Yeah, definitely. Not not anywhere near me. It wasn't. It was <laughs> literally well, just not close to Goldeneye though. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. If if it was me, Harvest Moon would be ruling roll, my sixty four. Okay. I'd pick them turnips. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this, this is meant to, to be this is meant to be the year of the Evan, and, and we're just derailing it for you. Yeah, it. Th th yeah. Thank you. Now I I now know how it feels. No, it's the, it's the year Everyone's of the Mario. Not asking you how you feel, just completely sidelined by everyone who wants to talk about their fucking their thing. It's like, oh, you know, the the classic. Oh, what would you do with a time machine? But you're not asking them because you want to hear it. You want to tell them what you think you're going to do with the time machine, right? That's how this works. And then, and then um, when they get to you, we're like, "Oh, that's a uh, you done? Is that a good story? A good story? Right. A good, great story." Oh, by the way, this is what I wanted to say from the start. I wasn't paying attention to what you said. I'd go back and kill Hitler because that's oh, no, really easy. Well, now you reminded me. I wanted to say one more thing about that. Yeah. Fuck off. Um, not you, not you, Mitch. Uh, the person, the the. All right, scenario. So, scenario. I'll fly over to Thank Japan you. and punch you. <laughs> Fuck man, if you spend a ticket to I'll 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 I won't even try to block it. You can just punch me in the face. That is quite expensive. Like uh, if, to, you, if you to be spend honest, all that I, money. It's not spending the money, it's trying to get illegally across the border to get to Japan because it can't go to Japan. Well that's the thing. Like if you if you took that amount of effort to get here, it's like I'm not even like take your best shot. Like but like be careful, like don't like hit me on straight camera. in the nose and on you know camera what I mean? too. Like be don't don't hit the lower jaw because it's like like kinda like the side of the face. Or right, anyways. It's it's um, the opening of the new show Burke off is the punch. Yeah. The punch heard <laughs> yeah. around the world. Yeah. Uh oh. Speaking Ooh. of punches, is anyone is anyone not watching Cobra Kai, which is the best fucking show on Netflix at the moment? No. Technically, it's oh, a YouTube that's, that show's TV awesome. show. I, I I don't like the Actually, Karate uh, Kid. Like the original Karate no, Kid is a horrible movie. 
<laughs> yeah, but this makes fun of it, and it's it's genius in the way that it does it. Um, love it. Um, Watch the first series in two days. Anyway, Evan, gaming memories, please, please, okay. for the love of God, talk about them. Sorry, dances you, with you, wolves you, is really. You good. brought this up, by the way. Side I mean, note, raised by wolves. In, Sorry. Raised in Stranger by Things, in Stranger Things, one of the kids has a because it's what it takes place in the eighties. Yeah. He has a T-shirt that says Kar- Karate Kid on it, but. In, in Japanese, it says it says like Karate Kid, Karate Kid though. But the movie was not called Karate Kid in Japan. It was called Best Kid. So whoever made that, whoever wrote that, fucking didn't do their research because it's not called Karate Kid. It's called uh, Excuse me, teacher, you forgot to give us homework. Uh, <laughs> Waluigi actually means like uh, okay. So when I was a kid, um, my brother was ten years older than me. So you know, about five six years old. My brother was fifteen sixteen. In one of my earliest memories, I just wasn't, I didn't have games around me at that time. And my brother was kind of a troubled teen, as they say, as my parents said. Um, I remember playing tag in the living room, uh, sorry, the dining room. And just off the dining room was my brother's uh, bedroom. There was no door, so he held, he, he put like a, he stapled like a blanket over it to cover his room. And we were playing tag and being kids in that. And I remember like pulling the blanket uh, aside and looking and um him saying evan get the fuck out of my room and being like completely taken aback by that and and putting the curtain back and like oh shit my brother hates me but what i had seen on the screen for a brief moment was uh the original castlevania which looked cool as shit for the two seconds i saw it before my brother said evan (laughs) get the fuck out of my room um uh years later about 2009 my brother and i bought a and yes, and we played through um, the original Castlevania with no codes or no cheats or anything, and uh, quite the roundabout way of getting through that whole thing. But um, aside from that, when we got the TurboGrafx-16, uh, I'm not making this up, by the way. I'm, it's, it's not, I'm not trying to like wedge this in, you know, like to to cut the tree down quickly. I, I don't even know what that means. Um, there was a game called Silent Debuggers. Silent Look this game debuggers. up. It is so fucking obscure. You are on a. It's it's very anime looking. You are on a derelict spacecraft. It's kind of modeled after Alien in a way, where there's this derelict spacecraft. You go on this spacecraft, and basically each level is like a floor of this derelict ship, and the the entire ship is um, completely overrun by aliens. It's first person. And it's almost like an old dungeon crawler where you're just kind of going forward and left or right, but everything kind of looks the same. You know, it's just like in the old dungeon crawl, it's like brick wall, brick wall, brick wall. You turn left, you can barely see anything, maybe a big opening, that type of thing. And there was a guy, uh, you, this really anime looking guy was like, okay, he's manning the controls, you need to get to level one. And you'd go through these areas and there would be like a little uh, arrow on the screen and a uh, I think it was like a, a, a blinker or like a, a sound that would uh, get higher and more frequent if you got close to the aliens. And the whole thing was like, hit a level, kill the aliens. And it was so hard. Like, I just, I could not wrap my head around it. And I'm sure plenty of us have had games where when you're just young, you just, you, like, it's fun for um, like a brief moment. And then what you get bored when you die enough, right? And it was, and, and also like being a kid, just playing first person games, going through hallways was just not that interesting. And uh, we bought this TurboGrafx 16 game and my brother Nick and I gave up on it. But for some reason, and my dad, like Mitch, your dad played video games in that. And uh, my dad did not play video games, but for some reason, I don't know what it was. He, fu- well, actually he was a massive alien fan. Speaking of going to uh, a theater and seeing a movie too early, I saw Alien 3 when I was, like, seven years old. That's a bit nice. early to see that film because my it was father was such... At least it was, at least it was a bad movie, so like, it didn't ruin the Alien experience. Uh, I mean, by the way, that movie was directed like... by David, Finch, David Fincher before like, anyone knew like who the Alien fuck 3. David Fincher was. I like Alien I, I like it, too. I think it's, gr- I think it's great. Um, Sister Michael, I was reading the Alien 3 comic in second grade, elementary school. Sister Michael, I went to a Catholic school, she stole my Alien 3 comic, and I remember <laughs> eating my lunch and looking over at the teacher's table. She was reading it. 
that <laughs> fucking bitch. Uh, anyways, <laughs> so my dad gets a hold of Silent Debuggers, and he just completely destroys this game. He he like he never played a video game. I don't understand how you can go from not playing video games to playing like a first person, what amounts to a dungeon crawler. Right. And he beat the game. And I just remember sitting and just thinking my dad was like the coolest person ever because he was like able to sit in his rocking chair and beat this really hard game. And uh, the only other game he played other than that and actually beat, by the way, was uh, Fantasy Star 1 on the Sega Master System. It's another dungeon crawler. Which is another dungeon crawler, yeah. So actually that one predates that. So I guess maybe he he got the bug from that. And it continued on to Silent Debuggers. After that, he like never played a video game ever. He kind used of. Tell me, he, he played like Pac- Miss Pac-Man back in the day on the arcades, which he was really good at. But other than that, he's never touched a video game, so it's like quite weird. That kind of what... kind of reminds me of my experience with Eye of the Beholder, because we had gotten that game. My... I remember and, that game. And I played uh, the SNES version of that. Yeah, I had the, I had the SNES version too. I couldn't figure it out how to play it, and then once we figured it out. Uh, I was like, oh, this is how it works, type of deal. Yeah, you know was, what uh, game I, I realized when I was younger that I was I was missing and never knew that I wanted. What? Um, it was a story driven but card based uh, game, uh, something like uh, that turned out to be related to the Witcher franchise and the game within that called Gwent. I, all right, so, dude, I, I fucking downloaded it. Oh, you fucking... It, right? you, that, what a I fucking downloaded it. Hook. It's I sitting on really my Xbox. Attention. I will play it later. You can leave me alone about it. <laughs> that was pretty I, I good, man. It, I, I that got, was pretty I good. I was... Uh, I was okay, like, Matt. I never, I never liked Gwent. <laughs> So, Neither did I, to be honest with you. Like that, that was, so when I played The Witcher 3, that was like the first thing I played. And I was like, why is this game? like?" It was a bad first impression of like the yeah, game in general to the, learn how to play Gwent. I'm like, what the fuck is this game? Like, Why are you teaching me this in not even in like 10 minutes in? Yeah. It's like, dude, this it's is like, this is like hour one. Give me like good parts first and not this Gwent crap. Yeah. Throne Break is a good game. I hate Gwent, but Throne Break is good. So, uh, yeah, Evan, are you done with your, your memories? Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that's it. That's it. I just remember my dad playing this super obscure TurboGrafx-16 game. A.K.A. Matt said that was a shitty story. Let me tell mine. No, I said that was a good story. I'm, I yeah. had it, oh, I had if you had up. a time machine, like, what would you do with it? <laughs> <laughs> I, would, uh, I would bring this around full circle back to uh, Evan when you were talking about the hypothetical father um we need to get this we need to buy this now and you need to be happy with it uh so that your mom lets us buy this stuff um i, think I feel that was, Mitch that was talking about that i i feel kind of like uh my dad used me as an excuse to get the nintendo because my <laughs> earliest memories were uh it's a great excuse watching, use your child use it <laughs> use your child th- th- they're useful for something yeah yes yard work and getting video games <laughs> Like just just imagine chores, the, chores the and chores. Yes, we're currently building for for our kids, like having a kid like in the future, and with all the games we own and everything, like isn't that insane? Yeah, my child's gonna be spoiled, spoiled <laughs> shitless with video games. But uh, yeah, no. So we got the Nintendo. No, you will play with tank controls. I don't care if you. <laughs> No, see, see, this is see, this is what you do to ease people into this kind of stuff, especially if you have children. Don't let them play the new stuff first. Yeah, make yeah, them play yeah. the old stuff first. But well, wasn't Dan be, talking about this last week? Where he because said then his, all, yeah. because then all friend, of a sudden, oh, go ahead. They no, Dan, Dan was talking about is that you know you can't play anything until you finished the original right. Mario on the That's game. Right. Board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like holy shit! This well, game yeah, is fucking because relentless. because then one they ease into like new controls, and then two they can enjoy the old stuff and not go like this looks like shit. Right, and then maybe one day after he, he goes through like all those hoops, he can play it, every it, modern game on on hard difficulty like me. You can make it like let's, let's not gender like, stereotype. Oh yeah, and complain on Twitter about it in the games industry. Oh, Mitch, you know it. You, know. <laughs> you can make it an RPG for them, like have like this colorful board, and like here's what you unlock if you beat these games. Like you can get to the next platform, and so you can turn it into another game. 
Oh, see, what I would do is I would make it a star system of being like, you can skip this chore if you finish Resident Evil 2. <laughs> Holy shit, man. That if, is you, a if you beat high Dad's bar. time, oh. <laughs> you, you beat, you... By the way, you'll never beat Dad's time. That's the way the world works. The world... <laughs> it's un... Everything's unfair. All right, Matt. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry Matt. Matt. Go ahead. No worries. Matt. This reminds me, I think. I, I want to say it's uh, Retro Game Brews, so shout out to those guys if they're watching this. Um, I think the guy that runs that uh, Twitter account, he's making his son play Ninja Gaiden on the Nintendo, and if he beats Ninja Gaiden without any help, no guides or anything like that, um, he's going to buy him a, a PS5 on day one. Ooh, oh, wow. I love that. He's making his Damn. son. Yeah, he's wish my dad was that cool. There is no know. way I would have been able to complete that game when I was younger. What? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's evil. I would have said. I, like how... I would have said challenge accepted and fucking beat that game. Like, cause I want there that. You go. He's, 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 posted, I, I he's posted videos. That. He's posted videos of his kid playing it. So, homework. Getting fuck better. homework. Yeah. Get, get, let me finish. Yeah. Finish a guy down. Uh, Nerds are using their kids off. as fucking guinea pig experiments. <laughs> see, <laughs> see what I would do is like, cause, cause kids are not in school. School, they're still in Zoom meetings most of the time. So, like, I would record myself in a Zoom for like a ten minute, a ten second loop, and then I just go play Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> there you go. Um, Classic home, Homer with the uh, the glasses that look like he's still awake when he's actually sleeping. Mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Matt, go on. the the only thing that's really unique about my story is um, we had Zelda two, and not Zelda one. So my memory of playing Zelda is the second game, and it wasn't so until which one is two. Quite unique. What's the title of two? Um, Link's Link, Adventure. Yeah, Link's Adventure. Okay, sorry, I just don't know him by number. I know him by name. Um, so, yeah, that that's the side scrolling one, but um, yeah, it wasn't until I was in middle school. And uh, I had a friend that was replaying. So he had gotten Ocarina of Time and um, was playing through that. And then he decided he wanted to play through all the old Zeldas again and was playing the original Zelda on the on the Nintendo. And I was like, that's not that's not Zelda. Like the the the, other, the original one was side scrolling. And he was like, no, that's Zelda, too. Oh, wow. That you didn't blew know. My that's mind. wild. Man. Yeah. Because uh, I remember playing the original or the uh, two as was my original. Sure. Um, so yeah, that's uh, and that your friend was like, "Oh man, I am so <laughs> right. I'm gonna rub this in." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so much, uh, Matt. Actually, what you're referring to is Zelda Two: Link's Awakening, and I'm actually playing. Is that how your friend talked? No. Am I... no. That... Okay. Actually, Sorry. Matt, think about it now. If there's one game I would like make a child play that I was like, you'll never beat. Trials of Mana. Or no, what's the first mana game called? Uh, it's not Trials of Mana, actually. Secrets it's... of Mana. Thank Secrets you. Because there is a section that you cannot figure out without a fucking guide. <laughs> it's like um, a combination of going around these trees, and then it opens a door, and you're like, what the hell? Oh, you have, you have to cycle through the, the seasons in a particular manner when you get you get lost. I remember that part. Yeah. Oh, it's such which, a I, which I beat without a guide, but anyways. Oh, I'd be well, with that, a guy. That brings back a memory. Um, <laughs> Who cares? When I used to play old, when I used to play old JRPGs, I would get stuck. I would go on the internet, look for a guide. I'd print it all off. Probably wasted tons of my dad's paper. He'd come oh, home yeah. and see what I'd done. It'd be like, "Why have you done this?" No, I beat <laughs> I'd just it. Print I print all of these guides. Had to beat it old school. I think there's only a few times like I bought a guide once for a game, but I don't even think I used it. Definitely no, printed I bought shit a guide for Pokemon. Day. That's what I did. I bought a guide for because because uh, McGuan pulled out a Game Boy, which I had a black version. I got it from my cousin. That was my first ever Game Boy. That huge honking like <laughs> like someone you could beat a person up with. Basically, that's how big and massive and chunky <laughs> that thing was. Yeah. Um, if I, if someone had one of these now, the only reason they'd be using it is to smash windows to break into people's cars. Yeah. <laughs> exactly my favorite uh, like a quick memory about that like my favorite memory was i went to best buy um when i got my game boy and we're like we're gonna go get some games for it i'm like awesome cool and like so i picked up pokemon silver but then i wanted one more game and i was so pissed because the game boy color was out by then and so it was like every game i wanted it was game boy color only and so i was like at the store 
throwing a fit, going like, I want that every game I want is just freaking Game Boy Color only, and I can't get it because I got a Game Boy. Like, uh. I was just like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, I remember uh, there was a kid in school that had gotten uh, the Game Boy Color, and he was getting rid of his pocket, and I ended up buying the pocket off of him for oh. like 20 bucks or something like that. And so that was, the, that was what I played uh, Pokemon Red on. Or getting a, or getting a DS. Uh, D, uh, no, not the DS. Um, Game Boy SP because of the backlight. Because I just remember throughout my entire oh, wow. childhood yeah. of just always like going like this up up to the sunlight in the car, trying to like save as much daylight as possible so I could keep playing. Because hmm. um, I didn't have the adapter light that like hung over and shot the light out, yeah. like the lamp. Do you know what? My, my my parents actually did buy that for my brother and I because we we got a shared Christmas present one year and I can't find the photograph. I'm sure my mum and dad have got it of me. Um, and for people listening, sorry, you won't appreciate this, but I can't. Rem- I don't know what age I am, but I'm just looking back at the camera going. <laughs> it's completely it's like, blown away yeah um so uh. it's got it's one of the original og game boys but at the time we were doing a lot of trips from south london up to scotland to visit family so i said what can you do with um two boys in the back of the car have that have a how shitload of batteries how, how many hours drive yeah um Four somewhere six, between right? seven and eight. Oh, damn okay because like i did a four hour drive and i thought that's why they got me the game boy because i was like jesus christ and you need to kill four hours but eight holy shit yeah so it's, it's kind of the, and then there was kind of if you die hand it over to your brother and they can play uh... and it's kind of, um but yeah so tetris um the original um super mario super mario 2 it's the one where you got to choose the path that you go to, which I much preferred. Yeah. Um, and you got the different powers. You got the one with the, the little bunny ears that made you kind of hover in the air. Um, Not the bunny ears. It's wings. Don't you see it? It's right there. Super, Super Mario Land, was it? Right there. It's I, I, wings. I, I, used, I used to think they were No, no. It's, well. in, it's, 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 um, it may just be my age, but there was the tiny little bunny ears that came off the top of his head, and he used to flatter them. Um, oh, maybe that's well, that's where it came from from Super Smash Bros. Where you can jump super high. I wonder if that's where be. it came from. I always wondered where the bunny ears came from from Super Smash Bros. Yeah, it was, every um, item has to do with some game in the Nintendo franchise. Yeah, so I always was Super Mario curious. Two on the Game Boy. Oh um, Jesus! I had a, <laughs> now, <laughs> now, Evan now, Evan, Evan. Now, Evan. I'm oh, sorry. Don't mind me. I'm just playing uh, Pokemon Blue on my. Game Boy SP. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, Evan. Uh, you were talking about how I pull games out of like nowhere. We're, we're pulling fucking no, systems. No, okay, fair, <laughs> fair enough. But I actually had to like dig in my closet. You you tend to like pull things like off screen. You're like, speaking of which, it happened to be next to me. Oh, speaking, of, I just have up. like my PS4. Con- oh, I can't see it up there. PS4 controller right next to me. Uh, actually, this is frozen. No, but yeah. yeah, the Game Boy was pro- game. The Game Boy was the first console that I actually owned, and I remember. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, one of the games that I played the most on it was Crash Test Dummies. With the Wii nice. U. Yeah. <laughs> Rafa. Got Wii U control. <laughs> Rafa. He's talking about uh, people, oh, you know, that. actually oh, making someone. Anthem good and bringing the Wii U uh, back. I don't know what to do with this guy. Rafa, Rafa's the kind. Rafa's the person that just is, is like the one where you're just like, why? Why did you do that? <laughs> I, 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 do, 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 do you know why, why I think why? I'm actually, it... finish uh, uh, Xenoblade Chronicle Sex. Yeah. Oh, my yeah, my room, my roommate in college had one, uh, had a Wii U because he's a Nintendo fanboy. Through it through. Uh, <laughs> he's okay. Um, I, I have like the Game Boy has been uh, uh, has appeared briefly uh, in my life in the past, and I don't mean about. I, I'm not talking about. Was it a point? A point. Look, what the fuck is this really old system that's not even color? Was it that? <laughs> It'd be the, really the, interesting to see a micro about. console of the Game Boy and the Game Boy Advance and the Game Boy Color. I really would like to see that because I I think there are some amazing games that they could put on so, there. 
I, I had my father uh, buy me because I, I was I was really small and I didn't know. Uh, I I thought it was a computer game, so I bought uh, Pokemon Red. Uh, I may have told you about this before. Uh, and uh, yeah, lo and behold, when I get home, there, there's this small cartridge. It won't so fit it in was, your PC. <laughs> yeah, like I was like, now where do I put it? Because <laughs> I was like, oh, a, a Pokemon game. Um, yeah, and uh, then like I think it was I was 13. I don't know. Uh, someone gave me their uh, Game Boy Color, so I had that for a brief uh, amount of time. Uh, I, Game Boy Colors were no longer uh, in stores. Like it was, I, I couldn't, I didn't know where to get new games for it, uh, in because uh, I was still in Romania. And uh, uh, yeah, I, I only had one game for it, which was like some sort of side scroller. was was interesting, but it was really difficult. So yeah, and then I get like. After a few years, I, I gave it away to to a friend. Uh, but That's yeah, nice. It's nice to hear. I'm uh I'm 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 I, I really like the the Game Boy SP. Like, if I can ever like get in the mood to get one, like it, it's it's quite a nice little thingy. I was always impressed by that one. I think right after that uh, came out the uh, the first uh, DS, right? That's how the DS came to be. After that, right? Maybe. We have yeah. no idea. The only thing that I know is that the Nintendo Switch probably has about the same battery life as a Game Boy with four AAA batteries. <laughs> That's true. That's true. It's got a Except little bit you don't, have to, you don't life, have to pay yeah. for the batteries, at least. Yeah. Um, uh, last thing before we wrap it all up, I uh, I do have a quick question for everybody, and it's a it's a it's one worded type of answer. So, are you getting the Super Mario? Th- 3D All Stars or the 2D All Stars? If you have to pick, neither. Fuck if you that. have to Ooh. pick, I'm I'm picking saving my money yeah. and putting it <laughs> into my PS5 fund. <laughs> uh, the 2D one feels like more of a complete package because the the uh, like uh, th- this collection, the 3D collection, not having Galaxy Two is such a weird thing. It's well, they're going to sell it separately, aren't they? Because they're fucking with us. Nintendo have got well, a big stick and they're poking everyone. It's, and they're saying, are you going to buy this, you morons? Because or... we're going to release it again in another 18 months, but this time it will have Galaxy 2 in it as well. Either, you fucking It's idiots. either that or they're going to do 3D All-Stars 2. Why? Like, what's well, on well, that, though? They put in the 2 in the second one. <laughs> Galaxy 2, Odyssey, Odyssey. Like, that's it. Yeah. The, the, the only, and then they'll sell it again for another. They can do 3D World, 3D World. But they're they're well, releasing that separately. Yeah, releasing yeah but, this, but, but this but this is but this is but this is Super Mario 3D All Stars 2. So this isn't going to come out for like another 18 months. Terrible. So. Fucking uh, uh, Evan, what you got? What you got? Which one? Which one? Which one? Uh, I already pre-ordered Super Mario 3D World and Super Mario 3D Collection. It's not even called All Stars in Japan. <laughs> I almost don't want to buy it. Okay. Liam, I, what are you going to get? Oh, 3D All Stars, without a doubt. Uh, 3D, 3D. Uh, I, I like, because I, I like going around it is games and like finding like little Easter eggs and stuff like that. The 2D ones don't have that. So don't have that bit of exploration. I don't know, maybe maybe some of them. Yeah, they kind of do, but uh, not, not the same noise. way though. Like finding like a random warp somewhere, like. Yeah, that's that's one thing. Like they, they have their little secrets, but I think that it's executed way better in, in a free to game. I, Mario's, I would... Mario's a massive. We've already dis- we've we've already discussed this on a previous episodes of the the kind of, don't know, infant podcast before this came into being. It's about Mario's um, mental health issues about him being I an absolute I remember mass that murdering I was there. He's a mass murderer of Koomba. The, Koomba's separation and, anxiety. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, massive, Mario's not massive someone we should relationship Mario's issues, problems. too. He has relationship yeah. issues. Um, yeah. uh, and and then, uh, oh, yeah, and then he also he also scares his brother shitless of how yeah. much of a murderer he is. Uh, Burkoff, what do you got? What, which one? 3D All-Stars. I mean, I want to play Galaxy with a proper fucking controller. Get rid of the goddamn nunchuck and Wiimote. I wonder if they if that is going to go away. Like I did try to play Galaxy and I do so, not understand how that got rave reviews because I'm like the controls suck ass. It's a I, great I agree, it's Mitch. a great game. It's one of the few that I could actually 
get most of the way through. But yeah. you hit. I do think the platforming is good, but like the controls just suck. You just yeah, get to a certain. That, you just get to having a certain those point. motion controls. I hate the Wii controls. Ideal. Yeah. 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 I mean, I will get 3D All Stars, and I'm just praying, praying that they allow me to turn that thing off. But they've Wait, already although... confirmed that they will. Yeah. You're good. But no, I, don't. I heard, There's I some leaders switched like, um, on. Fuck everyone. You've and, got to play in house traditionally to be made. Get good, motherfuckers. And, 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 uh, <laughs> Jesus and then, Christ. And then here I was expecting Burkoff to say, nope, I'm getting my, I'm getting my Xbox Series X. <laughs> <laughs> Which, it's been a while. Can, can we get an update? How are you feeling about that Xbox Series X now with all the all the news that's came out in the last like month? Fine. I mean, I can still play all the... Is it, your, is it still your number one purchase? I'm gonna buy it over the PS5. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I was looking at Game Pass Ultimate the other day, and the list of games that are free on that at the moment. And I'm thinking, do I wait? Well, see, do I do what I did with the PS PS4 um, Pro and wait a year and a half? See, see, um, uh, see, um, uh, uh, McWomble. I'm fortunate because I have a P a good PC right now. Like, I don't even need it. Like, I, I mean, yeah, I that's just, a good point. I just download like, it. Yeah. Off, Game Pass off. Ultimate. Yeah. Because, anyway, I mean, I don't have Ultimate. I just have Game Pass for PC, and I still get, like, the big games. So, like, I can mm. play them on me. And then I, I, like, I bought myself a... Oh, shit. It's caught on a rope. Ugh. I bought myself a Xbox controller to play. See? You with. guys you guys are all making fun of me, but Microsoft's still getting your money. So, I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, but they're not getting uh, potentially five hundred dollars off of me. That oh, here's happening. the thing: if you get Game Pass, they they will eventually. I I canceled mine recently because I only play one game at a time. I don't like cycling through all their library, and by the time yeah, I would be done with one of their games, which is like you can find it for like ten ten pounds, twenty pounds, I would have actually given them like almost full price from oh, all no, the for months. sure. Like Rafa, I'm uh, Rafa. I'm gonna like in about a month. I'm gonna stop because yeah. like I just got it last month, and I, so I, I'm just getting through all the games through there, and then I can be done. I recently like, I don't just need had to. a realization, so I canceled Game Pass. I canceled the uh, Apple Arcade. All these little services because realistically, I'm not getting. I'm I'm wasting money away. Okay, so talking about wasting money, which of you idiots? are going to pay the additional subscription fee for Disney just to watch Mulan. I already did. Watched it yesterday. It was oh well worth God. it. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm not but, subscribing. But hear me, hear me out. Hear me Disney out, people. Plus. Hear me out, people. Hear me out. Uh, there, are, there are three people. Technically, there's technically four other people that use my account. And we share the same account. And basically, I, I, don't, I didn't pay the full $30. Okay. That makes more sense. Uh, like, uh, basically, though. in my mind, like I like basically I pay for Disney Plus, but then I get other services off of everyone else. So like mm. I paid for Mulan as a way to say like, hey, I'm going to give you everything you need off this service, but I'm still getting basically like free TV for cheap. Like I get YouTube sure. TV at a discount. I get what Hulu, else? All that kind of stuff. What else do you get for the thirty and the premiere upgrade? <laughs> you just Nothing. get that movie. You just get that just movie. Mulan. So you spent, you spent thirty dollars on a movie Mulan. <laughs> yeah, but if you think about it, like it how many? Works in but, hold up. but like, but here's the thing: like when you unlock it, it unlocks it for all the profiles on your account. So like, there's three profiles on my account for the three different friends groups of friends that use it. So they all have access to Mulan as well. So like, if you got a group of friends together and even three people, ten bucks a piece. That's definitely worth the purchase yeah. price. Is, like you're is, not going to watch the, it by yourself mainly. It's like yeah, this is the a thing group. is is it cheaper than if I went to see it at the theater? And yeah. it depends if you like how many people are in the room and do you have snacks you and all that kind of stuff. Snacks? Yeah, okay. It is like bug snacks. Yeah. Do you have bug snacks? Thank thank God someone said <laughs> it's, it, it's, 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 it's the people that think of it as an individual like yeah. one person purchase. Yes, that's a lot of money. But like, if you're thinking about it as like yeah. a group of people, the, the difference being is it's on my shitty TV and not fucking giant in the theater. Like, but with, it's so with great the, with quality. The surround sound so and everything. Could you, you know. could you hook up with people online to be to like become a group and split the payment, or is that much more complicated? Well, that's what he's saying. Is you could. Are you it's, also breaking, it's also breaking the terms of service. Uh, technically, <laughs> they're not paying me for it because I'm just they're paying me through their other service. <laughs> 
Oh. We're a family. We are family. Yeah. It counts in the terms of service. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Be- Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, Lion King, nothing else exists. In the I was going to say Mulan Disney is circle. absolutely my favorite of all time Disney live it, action actually. remake. It's it's amazing. It's really it's really good. good. It's very different than the like the animated film, but it is. It's it's wild. It's really food. good. It's really good. Um, it's also directed by a woman, which I was really like. It was really well done. Like I was I was like, please give her a job to like work on something that isn't starring a female lead. Like she deserves the work. She did a great job with the film. So like I'm, I probably will watch it a second time in the next couple of days because it was that good. I really 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 uh, liked it. I, I... Did they change the 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 lead the, the lead actress? Because I I know there was some no. problem. No, it, it's so too so yeah, she said some stuff about um in support of Hong Kong, um and okay, there's, so she's oh. gonna be fucked for the rest of her career. Well, there's so so it's weird. Like there's there's it's not been totally confirmed yet. What what like if she there's rumors that like she was asked by the Chinese government to say that, or she was like coerced by the Chinese government to say that, or she like it's 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 kind of up in the air and there's a lot of hate going around with a lot of misinformation so that i don't even know well, what's at, truly at confirmed. least she didn't post a, a picture of winnie the pooh anywhere because then Marmy. she'd probably be disappeared <laughs> oh super yeah, yeah, um seriously. super little like uh easter egg if you do watch the movie and you look at the disney castle you're gonna go that's a weird ass disney castle well that disney castle is the disney castle in disney shanghai so if you ever were like, why is that a weird, different kind of castle in the beginning intro? It's because it's the Shanghai castle. Just, okay. so another another weird thing. If anyone's Wait, watched my... um, Eddie Izzard's stand up, I can't remember which which one it is. But he, um, he said when they when when they built Disneyland um, Paris, they said, oh no, was, they started. They showed people the drawings and started building it. It's like, no, you, you're going to have to make it bigger. He's like, why? Because we've got actual fucking castles here. <laughs> that was pretty good. Nice. Actual. Um, I've got I've got a little bonus thing that I want to talk about, like just before we wrap up. Uh, does do, anyone, do I need more beer for this? Does anyone know this game? It's a Nintendo sixty four game. I was I, looking at I that was when you put it up. Out, I have yeah. no yeah, fucking I was trying to figure clue. out what the hell that was. Yeah, I had no so idea. It's it's another it's another game that I've been uh, on the hunt finding its name. Because I, I I I have like this small memory uh, uh, linked to my father, so one uh, one day when I was small, uh, my father um, actually took me to spend time with him at his place, and uh, for some reason he put me in front of this. It was like a big CRT TV, but it wasn't. It was actually a monitor because he was also having a PC attached. But somehow he could. I think he probably linked it to an N, uh, N64 because it wasn't a PC game. Like it, it was a it was a console game. So I played a bit. So you, it's basically a platformer, and um, you have all these uh, all these um, the obstacles, and you collect stuff. But one notable uh, thing about it is that he he would guide me through 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 the game, and uh, he told me that you can jump on the ladies' sun bathing on 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 the beach in that uh, respective level so you jump on their tummy <laughs> you jump actually because they were fat and you would jump on them and bounce back high in the air and collect uh, like you you've got like diamonds or crystals or whatever like right above them and uh he That's he would describe them. game design right there he would he would describe so them as um he would describe them as from the topology of the model it looked like they they had like free breasts but like i i <laughs> i, I tried to find footage of that <laughs> level and I, and I still can't but i think it was their bra like having the knot in the middle that was like a, a big knot and it it, it, it looked like a, a third breast but you like jump on a free breasted lady <laughs> that, that was you talking was like, about that reminds me of a, a game called space bunnies must die and it's just this like Hooters girl, basically, where like the <laughs> shortest short shorts you've ever seen. And I, it was the first time I witnessed full motion breasts in, in like <laughs> physics. 
and she just would be like saying Before these the catchy franchise made it right exactly obvious. and she'd be yeah. saying like these really cheesy catchphrases being like gotta kill some bunnies <laughs> but she's she looks like a playboy bunny in a, in a nutshell so like it's joke on her but burk off the hell you put your the oven i did yeah we could we didn't, didn't have didn't any other english to post up so your of the oven was it well, well, we could have, we could have, we we could have done a uh, useless bloody urchin. <laughs> uh, that's a yeah, that's a pretty good one. Oh, right. I'll, I'll say that. I'll say that one for next episode. Bergov, I was giving you the perfect outro timing, and you didn't even use it. Yeah, you're right. Wow, Starshot Space Circus Fever. <laughs> And I only played it for that day when yeah. I was on Germany, so I, was, I don't know. I was know. busy Never... uh, trying to download Silent Debuggers. Oh man, you better play that game. Uh, by the way, uh, on my proof that I collected all 150 Pokemon on my... Shit.